been nice to watch you wash your dishes. <laughs> no, come on, no. Timo Rocky doesn't do dishes. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we know we d- you do. Okay, yeah, you recorded. Right. Fuck, I'm busted. Right. You're busted, gotcha. Fuck. Episode 3 of the Timo Talkie Podcast. Hello, Timo. Hello, hello. What's hello, going hello. on? Dishes. <laughs> Dishes are going on. Yes. Uh, I, you, you're posting about a new tour now, huh? Yeah. You know what? Hold on a second. Why do I not hear myself? Hello. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? Yes, very well. That's weird. I can't you hear don't myself. Hear? I kind of do, but I kind of don't. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. It is what it is. Yeah. As long cool. as you can hear me, it's all that matters. Nice so anyway. Yeah. Anyway, you've got uh, a tour being planned already, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's, it's like, uh, if I remember the date, it's like uh, 7th of May starting. Oh, in May. Okay. Yeah, 7th. And where is that going to start? It's like, uh, 17th, but I think they're going to add one more week. So maybe 25th, 7th to 25th. Yeah. Where is that starting? Uh, maybe Mexico City. Mexico City. Yeah. Are you coming back That's, to the I, U.S.? I, I don't know. I would like to. Yeah, you haven't been of here course. forever. I, uh, exactly. But I'm gonna I, I'm gonna go to Mexico for one month, fourth of uh, December, and I'm yeah. gonna spend a Christmas there. So. Ah, yeah. nice. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Nice. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Big, is there a big holiday over there? I think it's pretty. It's like in Finland, but I think it's uh, even bigger there. I think. Really? But they eat the same stuff like ham, turkey. Oh, okay. Well, so it's like pretty that. much, I guess, the same everywhere then. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Santa Claus in, Finland, in, fin- in, in Finland, we go like in, in Christmas. We can go to the forest to for the pine tree. Oh, really? Yeah, it's allowed. You can't get it for free, so nobody's oh, really? bothering. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. Do yeah. you like the trees and stuff over there too? The light Christmas lights and stuff? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah the thing, Alexander got on Helsinki is like Christmas, like very big street. Oh. Really beautiful lights. Yeah. It's like two kilometers wide long. Really? Well, you have to yeah. send some pictures. I want to yeah. see that. I will. All right. Sounds good. Yeah. Well, this week is about Fright Night, the first Stradivarius <laughs> album. Is that? Yeah, I remember that. You remember this cover? <laughs> I do, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> you know, I was yeah. looking up some stuff about this. Um, I thought you had somebody draw this album cover, but it said it was the guy drew it in 1975. Patrick so Woodruff. Yeah, exactly. yeah where, where did you find the album cover at? It was the CBS. We, we were signed to CBS. Uh, we did first... When I joined Star Wars, it was 84. Yeah. And Tuomo Lassala asked me to join. And Stuff and Stroma was a guitar player. He didn't want to do one gig in Aalborg, Denmark. Yeah. So Lassila called me, and, and because Lassila was me in a band called Roadblock since 82. Right. So 84, I, then I, I rehearsed all the songs in like three days from a cassette tape. So all, so the, we went, all these songs on this album were already done? No, no, nothing like that. It was nothing, later, okay. but they were all Stratowire songs. Yeah. One particular I remember called Fairies on the Highway. <laughs> it came from fairies wear boots because last year I was very big Black Sabbath fan. Oh, all right. This, this Stroma was actually fucking great guitar player. Yeah. Re- I had a really hard time to learn his jobs in three days. Really? And yeah. then we went to Allbrook and my Stratagaster was fucking stolen. Wow. From the backstage. So I came back with an empty case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My nice Stratag- 79, 79 anniversary silver edition. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, but uh, Friday Night Songs, I wrote, I think, 86, something like 86, 87. Right. We did the first demo where Iko and Antigua and Jurki Lenton was playing bass. Uh, we, sent, we, sent, we recorded the demo, some student has seen, can send the tape to CBS. And a guy called Hans Rautio from CBS came to our rehearsal room. And he said that that's it, yeah. but he said that the vocals could be better. Still. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's good, but the vocals would be better. Yeah. And then we signed the deal, and we went to Phoenix and we re- re- recorded and mixed the whole fight in four days. Wow. The vocals I did is six hours. The whole album, six hours. Jeez. Wow. Six. Yeah. And now, the mixes, you... mixes, mixes were like done in two days. Yeah. Now, were you ever vocally trained? Did you go to a light, like take lessons and stuff, or? I did not. I was I was ten. 
uh, I was in Helsinki called Cantores Minores Boy Choir. Yeah. And uh, I remember being, but I remember I was, when I started, I was three. My wow. mother said I, I was like uh, next to the radio, jumping and dancing and singing Beatles already. Yeah, yeah. When I was three. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, remember we talked about that last episode, yeah. Right, yeah, exactly. Actually, I got I'm my talking... son doing that Beatles stuff too now. <laughs> right, that's what well, yeah. Beatles is fucking great, of course. You know what it is? It's they're like... so easy to get into. You know, they're not so complicated. It's just very simple stuff. Exactly. Yeah. And, um, well, my songwriting origins are the Beatles, uh, the Shadows, Hank Marvin. Okay. And, and uh, ABBA. Right. Yeah. And, and yeah. Finnish pop music. A lot of, my father played a lot of Finnish pop music at home. Mm. Like forever is actually the chorus is pretty much one to one of one very really famous Finnish uh, song. Oh really? Yeah, and also Black Diamond the intro is also <laughs> almost the same. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you're stealing people's music now? Okay. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, like the fucking <laughs> Eclipse, the Swedish. You saw the Swedish band Eclipse. Yeah, we talked about it in the first episode. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, but the 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 Friday night was really done in four days and wow. mixed in two days and. We um, we sold maybe three thousand copies, the whole thing, and then actually the CBS dropped us. Really? Yeah, because they ex- expected like ten thousand sales. Well, well, why? You you were like a no name band though at the time. Exactly, but the, <laughs> in that time, Finnish rock was like very popular, so they, they expected. Really. Like we sell more, and so we did with last year. Then we got a bank loan of fifty thousand um, Finn marks at that time, mm. which is about ten thousand euros. From wow. the bank, we I composed a new song for Twilight Time, and we recorded it in ten days this time. Wow! And that's the first time we started using samples in Kicks and Kick and Snare because we did it in the studio called Millbrook, mm-hmm. and the engineer was called Juha Heinen, who was a weird guy. His hair was like mop. He never <laughs> he never ate anything. He was only smoking and 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 drinking coffee and like some candies and shit and. So he mixed it. He always told us to stay, wait in the cafeteria when it was down there mixing. Yeah. It was 20, 20, the 32 track Otari machine. Wow. And so Macintosh, I... old Macintosh computer, and he put like a MIDI. He triggered MIDI. Yeah. Yeah, MIDI. but none of, that, none of that was used for Fright Night, though, right? No, Fright Night, there's no samples whatsoever. Yeah. No samples. It's really organic sound. Yeah, it is. It's, uh, you know, Talking about your, you know, as you guys later went on, I mean, this is very raw sounding. Yeah, exactly. And you, you use more keyboards like later on. This one, it's just like very sporadic keyboard yeah. kind of stuff. Exactly. So, um, yeah, the keyboards are very minimum, right yeah. now, I would say. Yeah. And, and um, Song Darkest, for example, it's um, there's a lot of like Cork M1 of like okay. choir sound and stuff. Yeah. And, then, and Black Knight and Witch Hunt and stuff. I mean, it's, it's, I still listen to that. It's sounded kind of cute. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We were gigging outside Helsinki, but mostly it were like 20, 30 people. Wow. wow. Yeah. That's how it started. Yeah. 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 That's pretty much how everybody starts, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, you said you lo- you, your guitar got stolen. So then, you, how, what did you record the album with? Um, Actually, uh, Fright Night I recorded with Kramer. Oh, okay. I yeah, like uh, Kramer guitar, yeah. Yeah. And at yeah. some point I had Steve by Gem777, Gem, Gem but that was later. Yeah. I, if I remember right, it was done with Kramer. Yeah. Because I was, also, uh, that, I was 87, in, I was in Finnish military service. Oh, okay. For nine months. I was like, um, like a shooter, a sharpshooter. Oh really? So for some reason, it was very easy for me to shoot. And Finnish uh, mm. military army, the 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 gun is like seven point sixty two caliber. It's like a Kalashnikov, but it's copy of Kalashnikov. Yeah. Not not like a, a scope, but just a, like you know, I could really easily shoot. <laughs> did, what yeah. did you shoot? <laughs> did you shoot anybody? No, it's shoot, shoot like a normal, like, you know, targets, like 200 meters. And, but then I got this, um, um, actually, uh, I, I became a clerk. 
because I had always like number ten in the school for t- typewriter. Okay, B- yeah. being a guitar player. So the rest of the training period, like six months, I was as a clerk. Wow. And the clerk in Finnish military was like he decided everybody's holidays. So <laughs> I was in charge of the entire company's uh, holidays. Right. Yeah, it's big responsibility actually. <laughs> Wow, how did yeah. you get how did you get involved with doing that though? Which one? How did you get into doing that? What what brought you into doing that? In the school, I had always number ten in in the typewriting with the machines. Yeah, I was really good, and so, but I was really responsible for the holidays for the entire uh, military. No, but, this, but but like getting into the military, what brought you in there? Well, it's mandatory here. You have to. Go. Oh, it is. Oh, okay. it's mandatory. If you don't go, you can do like civil service, but that's like 30 months. Oh, all right. And then there's like uh, some people who just completely total deny, and then they go actually go to jail. Really? Yeah, this is how it wow. is here. And we still have like, we have about 5.5 million in Finland. And the military here is, we can have like 700,000 people. Really? Reserve already, yeah, exactly. Wow. So yeah, it's no a idea. big. And and in my basic training period, it was like three months. We have we were mar- marching a lot. I was in, in the city called Lappeenranta, which is like 250 kilometers from Helsinki in the east. Mm. I was in in like um, uh, this gre- grenade like tubes, big ones. Yeah. And in the forest, always pointed to Russia. All every fucking time, <laughs> only Russia. And it's still <laughs> the only fucking direction where the enemy can come. Russia. Right, yeah. We don't like Russians here, still. Really? Wow. Yeah, we don't like them, no. We don't no, like we Putin. Like... We, we don't like Putin. We don't, <laughs> we, we don't like, but we are friends with everybody. But if somebody's coming here, we say, stop. Yeah. They don't come here. We did it. We had two wars. A winter yeah. war in 39, and, and with Germans, Jatkosoda, oh. when Germans attacked Russia, Barbarossa. Okay. At the same time, Finnish army was invading Russia, but stopped to Stalingrad. Wow. We are like, like, our sir, like, uh, Mannerheim was the general. He was trained in Russia, so he knew the Russians. And he knew that Hitler was going to lose. So he stopped, he waited, and he was right. <laughs> because when the Russians then won, the Germans then really hit Finland big time. They came right. like, and my, my grandfather was um, in the worst place in 44. Called, called, uh, what was it called? Like when the Russians really came with like two million men. Wow. Yeah. And it was very close that Finland didn't lose the independence. Mm. It was really, really close. Wow. But because so, of the politi- politicians, <clears throat> uh, they got negotiated the, the sol- solution. And so it ended like uh, we had to pay like a lot of uh, money to Russia a couple of years. Yeah. Wow. Uh-huh, well, yeah. I had no idea. Yeah, now you know. But it's like this. So uh, You guys seem like but, such quiet people over there. Who would bother you, you know? Well, <laughs> we always have, we always have been like you don't come here, you know. You don't yeah. if you come here we say, Okay, we do we we say stop, you don't come. Right, yeah. Yeah. yeah you just don't openly welcome your arms and come in and, you know, do whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, I mean we have a lot of like foreigners in Finland and, right. and uh but we are not racist, but we, right. we do know our place and we're, we're not welcoming everybody here. Right, yeah. Yeah, There's not like, of... uh, you don't see like the, what they're trying to do here is just let everybody in and, you know, right. have no, no, free we're, run. No, no, we're selective because we're, Finland is part of the European community anyway, so mm-hmm. European community laws, we have to follow them basically. Wow. And there's like a ever and no ever ending discussion about NATO. If mm. Finland joins the NATO, but I don't think it's going to ever happen. Yeah, we have we are, our military like fighters, they're like uh, American mm-hmm. fighters, fighters like Hornets, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's like it's a, it's very fo- strong force actually. Okay. So yeah. is what now all that stuff that you just explained to me was any of that like part of like future shock or anything? Well, future shock. Um, I, I know you're talking about, like about war and stuff. So right, that's like uh, my lyric. I think future yeah. shock. We wrote a lot of stuff with Lassila together. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, he wrote Black Knight. He wrote Bitch Hunt. I wrote Darkness. I remember that. And then it's Good by the, the Instrumental. I wrote Future Shock. Uh, what else is there? Uh, Fire Dance. It's uh, Instrumental. False Messiah. Uh, Fourth uh, Messiah is mine. Fourth Messiah is mine. That's Fire mine. Dance. Fright Night. Fire Dance. Exactly. Uh, Fright Night is mine. Fr- 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 Night Scream is mine too. Okay. Yeah. Darkness and uh, Goodbye. Um, goodbye. There's eight songs, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. One, two, yeah. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, yeah, about eight. Yeah, eight yeah. So it was released in '89, if I remember right. And the first yeah. single was the Future Shock. Yeah, yeah. I was actually just watched that video. I had no idea there was a video for it. There is, yeah. Yeah. What was it like Future doing the video? That's do cool. Remember? Yeah, I do. I still remember everything. Uh, very, very low guy. budget. <laughs> no, it was actually at that time it was pretty, really good budget. Was it really? It, yeah, yeah. You guys were just in a room. It looked like. Yeah, it's some. I don't very remember basic. where it was. But it's very basic. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. It's fun to watch now. It's like cute to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially you know to see where you started out at. You know, what yeah. um, what made you use that album cover with the snake? Does that mean anything? But there was, uh, we just needed to have a good cover. So CBS was browsing through different uh, like ideas, and then they found this, and they asked asked us if it's like okay. And basically, it has nothing to do with the album. Nothing. To do. <laughs> yeah, I remember we did like we designed gravestones with my brother Tero. Yeah. We had a kick in Tavastia for the like uh, when we rehearsed, we released Fright Night. Right. And. Um, um, we we designed it from cardboard stuff and, and we painted it and so, in Tavastia Club is like um, Tavastia Club is like the most famous rock club in Finland. Right. Okay. So we had the when we re- released it, we had we had a party there and we brought the gravestones. We could only fit one, not two. What we did, and we collected like <laughs> grass in the night with my brother. And the the manager of Tavastia, so there was like in the backstage was full of ants afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because of the grass. <laughs> and we had like rubber snake from coming from the grave and everything. So <laughs> pretty spider tap actually. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> That's yeah. funny. Exactly. At least you had some kind of stage show, right? Yeah, we wanted to present something. So yeah. you know, were, whatever were you the, the only, Were you the only band playing? Or yeah. Was there other band? We, oh, you were. Oh, no, okay, so you were the only one. Yeah. Only you. Only, exactly. Only, yeah. Yeah. And we, we even had pyros. I remember we had pyros. As well. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Any mishaps with the pyro? Not at that time. It was very basic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very easy stuff to do. Yeah, very easy. Yeah. But yeah, it's the first album. What can I say? It's like part of the history of Stradivarius. And, and yeah. Would be fun to play one gig in the same club with same lineup. Is it still open? Yeah, well, very much. Oh, really? I was okay. just there yesterday with a Brazilian journalist. He was in the Tavaste a lot. We took pictures and everything. And oh. There's a record shop right, right next to Tavaste. We went inside and on my re- he took a picture of me and my solo albums. Ah, nice. Yeah. Because everybody knows me in this country in Helsinki. I, I can I I go I walk there and people stop me all the time. Are you Timo? <laughs> I was just with Claudia in Hyvenka in Raskastajolo, it's a like Christmas. A production of like 2,200 people wow. just there. And, and it's, fin- fin- it's like Finnish Christmas songs with heavy metal touch. Oh, really? Yeah, it's so, like you can, so it's like kind of like can, a Trans Siberian Orchestra kind of, kind it's, of thing? It's very similar. It's very similar, yeah. Nice. But it's, it has more loops and stuff. It's more like stuff like this from the hard disk. Oh, okay. And yeah. everybody knows. I mean, she, Claudia, knew songs that even I don't know. Really? You know? Yeah, yeah. because she's a big fan of Finnish music. <laughs> oh, oh. What the fuck? How can you know this? Yeah, I, right. don't, I, I, I don't know. This. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, yeah. And, and the guy who is like uh, the mastermind of this, Raskas Teola, is called Erika Korona, my guitar student. All right. And they have like 26 gigs before Christmas. Wow. production. Later, I type you the address so you can check it out. What yeah. they do, but yeah, but uh, yeah, we went there and I met everybody. And, and Marco Hiatala is doing one. And on Saturday, I go to see uh, Amarante and okay. Sabaton and Apocalyptica in Helsinki. Oh wow! 
Cool. You like Sabaton? Well, I mean, yeah, I don't like Sabaton, but I do like Amaranth a lot. You don't like Sabaton? Come on. I don't like them. I, it's too <laughs> military shit for me. I don't. But I, they are yeah. good what they do, but I don't, I don't like the stuff. But I, I may, I, I'm really looking forward to meet Elise because it's been a very long time since I met this girl. Oh wow! She's such a great singer, man. It's like wow. Yeah, I don't, I don't know who get, she is. I don't. Um... It's like Avalon One, Elise Rude, and it's right in my memory is her. If I, I probably, if I saw a picture of her, I probably recognize. Yeah, her. of course. Yeah. All right. Well, any, um, any bad things happened during the recording of Fright Night? Or anything you wish that, you know, maybe you could have did better during Fright Night? I remember that we used like Sennheiser 421 microphone, black one, with Marshall cabinet. The same fucking Studio B where we later then did episode and Visions and Destin, everything. Oh, wow. But at that time, it was a bit of a different design. But yeah. the same studio and the same studio, see where Carmela is now mixing Nightwish. <laughs> Carmel has been in this studio for like 30 years. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And still there? He's still there. And Tuomas Holopan is a very good friend of mine. He's yeah. like a very humble guy. Really, really cool. Everybody here knows everybody. Sonata. You know, every, <laughs> everybody. So it's like everybody's big family here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Then, like in the beginnings, like on this Fright Night thing, did you guys, did you ever tour with like Sonata or I mean, I know they actually started a little bit later than you did, but did you know them yeah. before they got famous? No, it's like uh, I remember a guy called Mappe Olila, who's like uh, this Finnish web like Imperium in that. He's like his designer, and he was like, I remember him telling me that this is a big competition for Stradivarius because Sonata Arctica. I'm like, what the fuck? What? I don't know what Sonata Arctica. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Tony Kakko later, like, he sang in Avalon 1 too, like. One song like uh, "We Will Find a Way." Okay, I had studio Tolki in, in East Helsinki. Really, really nice mixing recording studio. Where I did also Alan Lande. Okay, yeah. Avalons, everything mm-hmm. there. But now I don't have any studio in this moment. I would like to have, but I don't. I have only the MacBook Pro and Arrow. Yeah. And yeah, the that's all you need I, nowadays. I, they, but I would like to have hardware because I'm a big junk <laughs> junkie. Right. In yeah. this. Yeah. And in the future, maybe, but let's see. If I get some money from the, this tour, I will invest, of course, to the equipment. Yeah. Well, see, but, that's what, what this podcast what, is for. This podcast is supposed to help you. We're, we're broadcasting all over the world in this podcast, and only so yeah, many people so, can see you on Facebook. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> I, I, um, I go to Rio on the 4th of uh, January for two weeks. My friends, Gus Monsanto, we're going to do Age of Aquarius, the whole album in Rio in the club. Oh, really? Yeah, we will feel because with Revolution Renaissance, we never got to actually tour. Right, yeah. So he lives in Petropolis. It's like a suburb of Rio de Janeiro. And mm-hmm. I was many times there in Copacabana Beach with Charlie Waters and Ipanema and all that shit. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward because there is summer in, in, there in January. And here it's like minus 30 in January. So. Oh, God. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's cool. So it's not cool, it's <laughs> warm. So. Yeah. And so you'll be have, happy to get away for a while. Of course. And and they have such a beautiful girls there. The Latin is fucking like amazing. Don't tell nobody that. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. It's a word. <laughs> yeah. So I'm looking forward to spend some time with my friend and br- br- make this one club show. And same, Gus, Bruno Agra. Bruno Agra is like, he did all the orchestration for Age of Aquarius. Fucking amazing guy. Yeah. He did all in one night. I remember him. We did. He he was like he fell asleep and he looked like Mozart. His hair was like. He, was, <laughs> he did everything in one night. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. uh-huh. yeah. Actually, I, I, um, the keyboardist you had on your second album, uh, he was actually from my area. He used to. Uh, he knew the guys in my band at the time when I okay. was playing music. I, what his okay. name is, I can't remember off the top of my head. But he was a cool guy. I remember. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I actually remember when he actually joined the band with you. He was like, oh, I'm going to be playing with Tim Altoki. And I was like, oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. I mean, on the second album? Yeah, the second time? Album. Yep, yep. No, I'm on uh, Re- Revolution Renaissance. Renaissance. That's um, Revolution Renaissance. Uh, who was that, actually? Mike Kalilov. It's God. from New York. Yeah, yes. Mike yes. Kalilov, exactly. Yep, yeah, yep. Mike, yeah. Yes, Mike. Yeah, he's very nice. He's nice. Yeah, Mike Kalilov, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, he, he did. Stole... He did that. 
You still in touch with him at all now? I am. I am in touch with him. Yeah. I asked. I asked him actually to join this tour. Oh really? And he said he's going to do it, so it's going oh. to be cool. Oh cool. Oh, he's, he's a not... very good. Key- he's very good keyboard player. This guy. Yeah. And then yeah. your upcoming tour too. You got uh, Mike Visser. Visser is going to uh, join you exactly, too, right? Exactly. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. He's in Tennessee, so yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Tennessee. Yeah, I think we're going to re- maybe we rehearse in, in Mexico before the tour. Yeah. yeah. Well, that would be a good idea. I think so. It's going to be really <laughs> nice. I think it's going to be a nice year for me next year. It sounds like it. Sounds like you got a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, I have. I do have that. Yeah. Plus, we... many years I did a tour last time with with uh, Symphony it was like 2011. That was wow. the last tour. Yeah. Wow, that's a long time ago. Yeah, so it's time to do something new. Yeah, you missed the stage, right? I do miss the stage, and this four weeks in Latin America, 16 shows was like a really really cool time to get to play all the, my hits, and, and people really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. They could see that I love to be on stage. Oh yeah, yeah. And now you... when I when I when I published uh, this new tour, everyone's going crazy in Facebook. What well, fuck? I yeah, come I here, come here, come Venezuela, come know, here, yeah. come there. So I go, I go wherever I'm sent. Of course, I go. I want to play everywhere. So I would right. really love to play New York and Los Angeles again. Oh, yeah. Is there a tip, um, a particular place in New York you'd want to play? We played. I think I don't remember the club where we played. Um, do you remember what clubs they have in there? Uh, usually, well, they've been changing it now. Usually, it's been BB Kings. Where a lot of we the played, bands we, went to. We, we played BB Kings. Yeah, the show was two thousand six. Yeah, yeah. A lot of them now, though, are playing at the um, crap. I think they changed the name of it, though. It used to be the PlayStation Theater. Yeah, I don't know. I I remember we we were in Prog Power. Okay. So they sent us a limo to the airport, but they were really? drink, no drinks, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Only the limo, yeah. And I remember the audience was weird. They were like, we did not get almost any kind of response. Like, what the hell is, what is going on? Why? No response. I, I always get very. <laughs> Like frustrated if, if I don't get any response from right, the audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like very hard for me to play then. Right? Yeah, of course. You don't want you can't yeah. play in front of a dead audience, you know. No, no. But I've done it many times, so I know what yeah. to do if that happens. I just play and that's it. Right. You know? Yeah. I play and I go away. It's like Blackmore. He he doesn't give encores if he doesn't feel like he that really doesn't care. <laughs> really. That's yeah. a shame. That's a shame, though, because you know your fans are going to come off thinking you know that guy's an asshole, and you know why am I yeah, going to give him money? You know. Yeah, I know. But I've always been there for my fans, and I always will. Yeah. I'm always ready to sign and talk with my fans and mm-hmm. take photos, and you know. Well, that's good to know. Uh, Not too many yeah. artists are, so. Yeah. Oh, do you want to mention about your Patreon thing that I made you sign up for the other day? Yeah, I actually <laughs> forgot it now. <laughs> but I signed it. It's there. So if yeah. somebody wants to, this, I think you can donate some money, so please yeah. do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, well, Donate a lot of dollars to Timo, please. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. But uh, yeah, if yeah. you look up Patreon and look up Timo Tolki, you'll find his Patreon page and uh, yeah. sign up for that. And then, um, oh, are we going to premiere that song that you were talking about yesterday? Which which song? I don't know. You said you had a new song you were going to share with everybody. Yeah, we did already with Claudia on oh. Facebook. Yeah. Thanks. I said let's share it with this show. It's got Season of Magic. <laughs> yeah, season of Magic, yeah. All right, well, he send just, it to me so I can edit. Okay, it's a, it has some Finnish, uh, one Finnish sentence, actually. Okay. Yeah, it's like, Ihme on sinua katsella, which means like, it's a miracle, it's a wonder to watch you. All right. It's a very beautiful, actually. I wrote this song for The Bride of Tuomas Holopainen. Oh, really? Yeah, like, I wrote three songs for her, and they never used it, because they thought it's like too much uh, songwriter stuff. He said, she, she, Johanna Kurkela is the artist. Mm. So now I, this season of magic is the same song. Okay. Yeah, it's a really, really nice song, actually. Yeah. So yeah. now we have 10 songs with Claudia, and this night we're going to still do two. All right. And tomorrow we go to Suomen Linna, which is like a fortress outside Helsinki. And what is that? They used to have like guns pointed to sea, the protection of Helsinki. Oh, and now it's a museum. There's like studios, there's cafeterias and restaurants and stuff. It's really big. You can watch. I send you the link as well. All right. And yeah, then we have a video interview in, in, in the center at 7 o'clock. And then we go to a restaurant called Viking, Viking Restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Any Vikings, Vikings there? Maybe. 
<laughs> uh, Finnish people are not Vikings, actually. It's uh, Norwegians. Right, yeah. No, it's no, oh, Dan, I think no regions, yeah. Oh, very cool. Take some pictures, uh-huh. we'll put it up yeah. on the show, sure. But, um, all right, so for next week, we are going to have you fans ask uh, Timo some questions, right? You that's always cool, yeah. that's always cool, yeah. So, if you want to ask Timo any questions, please send the questions to yeah. uh, rat salad review at gmail.com. Rat right? salad, what yeah. the fuck is rat salad? You you like Black Sabbath? You don't know what Rat Sabbath? I is? love Black Sabbath, of course. I know Rat Sabbath, but it's an instrument, right? <laughs> right. So Rat it's Sabbath, like you... way, way noon dot com or something, not Rat no, Sabbath. No, because it's this show is affiliated with Rat Sabbath Review <laughs> Network. Yeah, I know. It has nothing know. to do with me. Yeah, come on, don't no worry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Rat Sabbath Review at gmail dot com, and just make sure you put in the subject Timo Toki questions, please. Cool. So I know what we're doing with. Uh, and if email. somebody wants to send me email, it's ttalk at yahoo.com. No, don't send him any emails, please. He gets a <laughs> Come on. <laughs> no, okay. please. Yeah. I'm a what? All right, show's you, over. You, 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 you should share my phone number as well. <laughs> yeah, what is it? Tell him. <laughs> you it's, gave my, in my, it's in my Facebook. Everybody can see it. <laughs> don't call Timo, please. Yeah. Leave him alone. The guy gets barely any sleep as it is. Look at him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, everybody has my WhatsApp, so what the fuck? Yeah, I know. But I don't answer if I don't know the person. I know. We shouldn't do that yeah. still. No. Either way. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so that will be next week. So get your questions in. All yeah. right? Anything else? No, really. I I just I wanted to have Tobias Summit's WhatsApp, but I, I think I got it now. Somebody okay. sent it to me. Yeah. It's been years since I was in touch with Toby. And yeah. I'm going to call him right away after this. Well, when you call him and talk to him, okay? Yeah. Tell him, yeah to get, sure. all right, tell him to get Skype. Okay. And we'll get him on the show. It'll be a three-way he's a very He's there. a very private guy, but I think I he, he would love to do his stuff. I think yeah. he's it's Avantasia. They have a, like a 30-year anniversary this year. Actually, it'd be 20, very cool. I, get him to come on the show, not next week, but the week after. Yeah, so yes. Yeah. We, we can talk about uh, the Ed Guy album you, you uh, did with him. Vanguard Opera. Yeah, yeah. That's a cool album. Really it's nice. a cool album. That's one of my favorite yeah. albums of theirs. Yeah, he like this song. Um, it's like Galaxy. It's very very open. It's the same. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's exactly the same. At the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> I was me actually. Told me I was playing bass in this album. I, I was right, me yeah. who told him stop to play bass, just become a frontman. Really? Uh, it, after this record, he stopped and he got a bass player. So it's you. You made him do that. Thanks. I met him do that. I met him. I taught him everything. I taught him about merch, publishing, record deals. Nice. He was very reluctant to sign with Luke the Blast. He asked me, like, Timo, should I go with Blast or not? I said, yes, you should really go for it, man. And he yeah, did. Yeah. He was with AFM before. Right, yeah. And the first time at Asia, he got in touch with Kiske, who was doing, like, his character was called Ernie. Right, yeah, because he didn't want to let yeah, anybody he, know. Yeah, yeah, but everybody, of course, everybody just Kiske. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I don't yeah. know what he was thinking, you know. Well, he hated metal. He had, he didn't want yeah, to be associated he, with anything with metal. So I know, but then now he's with Halloween, so yeah. you know, yeah. He's, we all think Halloween, he's, of course. Yeah, he's back home now, right? He's back home. Yeah. He's yeah. in Hamburg. Yeah. Well, yeah. Now, do you think that um, do you think that's going to last that whole Halloween uh, United thing? No, it's maybe two years, and then he's out. You think so, or is that you know? I, I I know for a fact for sure because he's he's uh, like the guy who's running his fan with Busty. He, well, I was just talking with him on WhatsApp yeah. before this, and he said that uh, he was just going to stay in Hello for two years, and then he's on his own again. And actually, he said that his boss said I should join Unisonic. Yeah, yeah. Because Kai Hansen doesn't want to do it anymore, so there's a guitar player place, and I would love to do it actually. Yeah, think about Absolutely. it. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Talk Unisonic. Wow. But after you, I want to ask you think of it because I, I, I really like my own solo career, so maybe right. I have to see, you know. Because I'm, I'm sure Dennis Ward makes most of those songs, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He did, yeah. I know him very well. And he, he, I told him that I'm a very big fan of him, and he said he's a very big fan of my mixes, so it's yeah, like yeah, mutual yeah. to respect. That would be, that would, I don't, I don't even know. Hey, now you get me excited. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. I, I think, but I really have to consider because yeah. I have this cloudy album. Maybe we do a tour in the in the fall with this 
music. Yeah. And I have my own, so 2021, they're going to do Angra tribute to Andrew Matos. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, Rafael Bittencourt just invited me there to Brazil. Oh, cool. For the memorial concert. And I want to go for sure because this guy was so talented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matos, yeah, Mark, yeah. Yeah, he, he, was, he was great. He was great, yeah. yeah. So, you know, very sad thing, 46. Yeah. Yeah, he's too young, too young to go. Very too young, very old. Yeah. What is this, the Claudia uh, Pearl album? Is this like an acoustic album or what is it? No, it's, it's uh, there's going to be, it's a real drums and everything. Uh, Symphony Orchestra too. Oh, okay. So it's going to be. Orchestra, though, she, she knows how to write scores, so she's going to orchestra there every song. Oh, wow. So it's going to be, all right, a big, big deal. Song, big song, oh, big, very big deal, yeah. Yeah. Now we just do demos, like one track with this mic and, and yeah. just acoustic guitar, and, you know, to yeah. get ideas. And then in Mexico, we start building a church, really. Right. really. Inside the tempo and drums, you know. And yeah. The drums may be the last, like Def Leppard, he stared at it because Def Leppard was so much longer. It was always like he wanted to really decide how the, uh, the arrangements are. So they change arrangement all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the very end, just added the drums. Yeah. So the reverse, like normally. Yeah, that's what I do too. My my guitarist, he writes the song, the, the you know the guitar right. parts, and then I do the drums. Right, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Actually, I you know what it is cool with that in a way, uh, like say if he does like a, a cool guitar part, and you want to kind of mimic that with the drums. And yeah, if you don't, exactly. If you do the drums before that, then it's already too late. You know, you can't. Right. Go back and I do know. It, so. Exactly. If it's not a click check, it's easier, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. There should should be a click check always. Like Dream Space was, I remember I didn't have a tuner, so I just tuned by ear. And Aunt Egon says, What the fuck is the tuning? <laughs> you know, there's a very strange tuning in Dream Space, it's somewhere between half step down in the middle of the normal. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. Did you use a click track for Fright Night? Uh, no. No click track? So no, it was, no all, was it all recorded live or anything? Or yeah, separate? very much live. Uh -huh. really? Very live. Oh. Yeah. We all recorded at the same time, only vocals were done afterwards. Yeah. So it's really live record. What you hear yeah. is what exactly what because there's no it's, way to do like Pro Tools. It's yeah, just to, yeah, just to finish at the you know the end of the show. Um, yeah, like I said earlier, it's it's way different than all the other all your other albums. It's yeah. very raw, raw sounding. Yeah, I think it sounds cool. You know, I haven't listened to this in a long time, and I remember the, like the first few times I listened to it, I was like, all right, it's okay, you know, because I yeah. heard the other ones first, you know. Right. But after like the last couple of days of listening to it, because I wanted to talk to you about it. Yeah. I, I really like it. There is a lot of really cool songs in here. And I, I love the yeah. drum production on it. I like the, the real sounding, you know, instruments. It's cool. Yeah, it's, it's cool. Yeah. It's, a birth, a re, it's a birth of something, you know, like the beginning right. of something. Yeah. You know. yeah. I can tell you I how look it as a, I look at it as like a, this pretty much romantic idea of like how metal band is you know, right. in the beginning yeah. of career. Yeah. Is there any band yeah. you wanted to sound like at the time when you were recording this? Um... Maybe I was a very big fan of Ozzy and Randy Rhodes. Oh, all right. And Blackmore for Deep Purple, so yeah. Rainbow and stuff. I yeah. saw Rainbow twice in Helsinki with Joel and Turner. Really? Rainbow, uh, Straight Between the Eyes and Bent Out of Shape. I saw both. Okay, cool. I saw Maiden many times in, in the ice hall. I saw Seven Sound. I saw Peace of Mind. Yeah. Uh, I saw that's it actually. I didn't see the number of the beasts, I didn't see the summer in time, but in yeah. the middle, I, yeah. 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 It was the other thing, too, and that's the bad fright night. It's a little bit more thrashier, kind of, you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is. It's, I don't like trash really, but the way right. I approach the song is I just wanted to write cool songs, and this is what yeah. happened, so yeah. And I always write how I feel at that moment, so yeah, 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 because you but haven't really went, you didn't really do that, you know, after this, so. Yeah, exactly. Different. Yeah. Right, no, exactly. All right. Anything else you want to add? That's it. That's it. All right. That's it, yeah. All right. Well, remember, next week, your questions, ratsaddereview at gmail.com. And if you want to write Timo, what's your email address again? Ttolki at yahoo.com. Ttolki at, at yahoo.com. Yahoo. And all with small letters. Yeah, awesome. It and I, I always I I reply to people. It's a, like his case do the same thing. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he replies to people too. Yeah, he does. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I need to get him on my show, my regular show. Sure. Uh, that would be really too. cool. Yeah, yeah, sure. Well, if you talk I to him, get him on the show. 
Yeah, you don't think I will. <laughs> yeah, okay. You don't think what? I don't think he's going to do any stuff. He doesn't do, do video calls, actually. He doesn't have Skype. He, I don't I know he has that. iPhone. Yeah. I do. Well, I talked to uh, Marcus um, about a month ago. Yeah, I had I had the option, you know, to to talk to Kiski or or Marcus or you know a couple other people from the band. Groskopf, I got, okay. I, yeah, I got Groskopf, uh, which was very cool. But um, yeah. I really did want to get Kiski because uh, you know these. You know, of course, Kiski is Kiski. Uh. Kiski, yeah, exactly. Uh, huh. but I, got, very I got stuck with I got stuck with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <the> second <laughs> Kiski. Thanks a lot, man. Fucking hell. <laughs> all, right. all right well you go yeah. enjoy the rest of your day and we will see you guys tomorrow or not okay, yeah. tomorrow next week yeah, next week yeah. yeah wednesday yeah. next week wednesday next week okay cool well don't tell people our secrets the show comes That's... out on sunday oh okay <laughs> yeah. it's the record yeah exactly yeah, yeah right. splice it <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. see you guys later bye okay bye Sensation full of imagination. Let my soul fly into you so I can hold your heart. Take care of your thoughts. Prosperity against the loss. In the season, we will remain until you forget your pain. I am all that you lose. Far away from our perfection My arrival has brought you peace Now I can caress your soul As I in the morning Waiting for the birds to sing Just remember I'm by your side I'm the memory of the wise Bless creature Divine you start, Miss Mariah's finger will be here. Wait for me, the bringer of light, glow in the dark. Hold me tight, keep up the spark. The very first time when I let my eyes on you. Adiosito. <laughs>